Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, everybody! It is going to be a uh, roulette rival, that's for sure. <laughs> Just woke up like one hour ago, so still kind of somewhere in that groggy state. Anyways, it is going to be Ducker versus Nezuko chan. That's going to be exciting. Obviously, both uh, highly top players. Uh, we're just setting up uh, adminning right now a little bit. Outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake. Oh, that's why. My audio is weird. So Ducker knows Brickler. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he might know Brickler, you know. Holy shit, I can... Oh, star prediction. Hey, also, I got affiliate recently. So that's cool. That's kind of cool. Uh, Docker... Or Nez... Mum... Uh, let's do... I will have the pull up for like, I guess five minutes. Yeah, there we go. I want Diana Helium voice mod. Yeah. I, I love the chipmunk. Diana just shut the fuck up mode. Can't you like... I don't know, I feel like there has to be a way to turn her off. Is there not? The streamer or model have to turn within 24 hours. Yeah. Ooh! Now, I haven't set up pet channel points or anything, but, uh, you know. Predict who's gonna win. The militia has released a hostage tip. But Diana still has some lines. Ah, oh, shit. That sucks. At least the freelancer mode. Don't remember about normal mode. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Uh, no. Anyways, it's gonna be a 15-7-1 record for Ducker in a 2-3-1 for Nezuko Chan. Map record by Danny Buddha, seven minutes, two seconds. So there's definitely, uh, you know, even though Mumbai is always going to be a pretty long map, I feel like there's room to improve that record. But enough about that. Let's get into it. It's going to be Silent Shotgun as Elite Thug uh, for the Maelstrom. Explosive Weapon Taylor for Vanya Shaw. An electrocution suit for uh, Dangan or Rangan Dawood Dawood Rangan. Yeah, there we go. Uh, can I end the predictions prematurely? Uh, send feedback. No, okay, there's just gonna be a little bit more time for the prediction than expected. Oh, there's a lot more time than expected. Okay, we're just going to have to do the uh, honor system. <laughs> just once the match starts, which is right now, just don't, don't, please don't change your prediction if anything happens. You know, be a man about it and just hold on to your predictions, please. So anyways, uh... I feel like no target pacification would be very interesting for Maelstrom just because of this strat that Ducker's doing right now and Nezuko is doing. Or you get an instant. Uh, you can't change once you vote. Oh. Is Nezuko still on a uh, old gen console? I do not know. I believe so, though. Ooh, Nezuko might get the Holy Man too late, but. 
Hopefully he doesn't run past here. That's my big concern. Is that he might rip down the road because of that. I'm not too sure though. So, uh, right. Both players uh, doing pretty well. Ducker has a slight advantage for having the holy uh, man. So he's able to go around a bit more freely. Even Buff got PS5. Are PS5s finally, like, readily available? Because, like, I don't really pay attention to the consoles. But last time I checked, I thought PS5 was, like, hard to get. But that was a long time ago. So I'm sure they fixed that already, right? Even then, it's, like, what? Like, a $500 investment? Like, that that's a lot of money. And I don't know uh, Nezuko's financial situation so i can't judge no rest for the wicked however the they have a barbie one. xbox what the hell huh anyways back to the match ducker does have the tailor right now so all he has to do is get that explosive weapon on shanya although even though ducker definitely has more mumbai experience i do want to say that I feel like I would go Taylor last just because unless it, it there's like something up with it just because it is a remote kill. Hopefully he's not doing okay he's not he's just walking by. That's good. I know. What are the odds? But there he was. Gregory Arthur, famous boy. Also, I missed it, but uh oh wait, no, never mind. Oh, wait, no, uh, Nezuko-chan did get the Elite Gun Silent Shotgun kill. I missed that. So, no Ambrose and no uh, Chongqing. Uh, yeah, th they banned those maps, so we're not getting those two. Uh, yeah. And, uh, good news, uh, just... Uh, who was it? It was a uh, yeah, Channel Reindeer. Ducker does know uh, Brick Lore, so. Thank God for that. Yeah, for real, for real. Hey. All right. Right. So. It's gonna be double flat. All right, Nezuko Chan is in the. Uh, I believe that's a food vendor disguise. So probably just like grab that after knocking him out to set up Dawood. Although I don't know if you can do Dawood with the standard snail shot. I think you have to go inside the thing, unless I'm wrong on that. So there we go. Ducker getting the uh, KOs for Vanya. And, you know, can just throw the bomb at her. And gonna move the bomb closer because there's been plenty of scenarios where it just isn't close enough. And there we go. We get a Vanya Shaw kill on Ducker's end. Kind of Meanwhile, Nezuko Chan just got the tailor. And now Ducker has to go to Dawood. So this is looking pretty interesting because even though Nezuko Chan did the brick lore a bit later, he does have the maelstrom out. So that means that you know, he's going to get both kills, you know, before the time Ducker might get the Maelstrom kill. We'll see how it goes. I will say it is definitely close. All right, Nezuku successfully gets those two guards knocked out, which is going to be pretty hype. So, yep, 
Dawood is on the way, and Vanya's on the way for both of them. On completely separate sides of the brick lore. This is an excellent uh, snail by Ducker. Probably one of the better ones. I don't get throwing that from that distance. Why don't you start growing the fuck up instead of throwing shit around? Hey, oh. oh no, that's a that's bad. That's gonna be a reset. So Nezuka Chan just found himself a good lead right here. Looking like a quick Mumbai. Yeah, it's very unfortunate for Ducker. Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. All right. We just have, you know. Nizuku Chan just needs a uh, Dawood electrocution. Which, you know, since both players are doing the brickler and driving him over here. I guess I do I see puddles of water on the ground. I don't know what the nearest one is for Da wood. Oh, he's gonna put his gun down so that way the elite guard grabs it. Oh, I see the puddle right there. That's probably where you have to electrocute him. And he's setting it up with the car battery. Doesn't even need a inventory space. The only concern for me is a. Uh, no, he's not going to drag the body there. I was about to say, he might need to drag the body over there, but... Oh, this is smart. He just needs to find his uh, suit, right? That might be a suit right there. That's probably why he did the... You know... Food vendor first. Yeah, so he's not even going to do like a lure or nothing. He's just going to let him walk. So he's just going to walk there naturally. No chance. Or he just needs a little bit of manipulation and make sure these guards don't go there first. Four bald men just kissing each other. Oh no, that's tragic. No. And no! Oh my god! That guard just near saved his life! No! Oh my god, this is so close. This is so fucking close. I believe you've dropped something. And there's that guard. Oh my god! Oh shit, he missed it. He missed it. Damn. There's other puddles, though. Meanwhile, uh, you know, Ducker is just back to his Brickler state. So he's not too far behind catching up. Chooses to knock out these guys before doing the Brick. Not sure uh, the benefit of knocking those guys out, to be honest. But, you know. He is going to. Yeah, Nezuko is still trying to get this uh, lure over for the electrocution. It's a tricky one. So I think uh, Nezuko just has to wait for uh, Dawood to just, you know, yeah, he wasted enough time. He'll do that to distract the elite guard. And he does see the coin. Hopefully it works this time. There we go. Nezuko with the electrocution. Dawood Rangan is confirmed killed. Mission completed. Time to find the exit. All right. 
That's going to be a win from Nezuko Chan. Hype, hype. Has a good amount of insults, including bloody idiots. God, I, I wish I could, as like an American, properly say bloody because I I can't I can't say bloody as an American, but like, it's such a good term. Meanwhile, we got Hokkaido coming up next. Uh, I'm still learning this uh, prediction thing. Uh, Nezu choose outcome. There we go. There's your channel points, people. I will change, like, I'll set up channel points and stuff since I, like, just got affiliate recently. It's gonna be 02, but we'll start another prediction. Start prediction. Uh,. Hokai, we'll just do a hawk. Remove a K there. That was, yeah. And our submission will be, uh, okay, two minutes left. So we'll just do two minutes. Got it. All right. Get your predictions, people. Will it be Ducker or Nezuko to go over this uh, lifetime performance? We got an 8 5 0 for Ducker and a 2 3 for Nezuko Chan. Although, I do remember playing uh, Hokkaido against him, and he said that this was his favorite map. So, you know, favoritism is a. I mean, as long as he doesn't do that, we'll be fine. But I think he just did that because it's like practice. He's just like, eh. He did alert that guard, though. Let's try to, uh, do pistol. Pistol shoot the heart, which is harder than sniper shoot the heart. Hello, street surgeon. So yeah, looks like uh, predictions are going slightly towards Nezuka right now. Check whisper, uh, will do. I will, uh, with you, uh, street surgeon. Oh, did I read? Oh, I just read everything out loud. Yeah, I, I, I tend to <laughs> tend to do that while streaming because of like streaming brain. Because, like, when you're live, I don't know, you just, like, I gotta say something. I gotta say something. So, yeah. All right. Next, uh, 15 seconds. Right, there we go the uh, match starts electrocution morgue doctor and sniper rifle bodyguard uh, respectively for Eric and Yuki this one can be a pretty fast one yeah as channel reindeer says recce 
That's I guess is what the uh, kids say nowadays for a fast spin. Wrecky. Oh no, Nezuko. Wait. What? Yo, did anybody see that? With uh, you know. Cause like normally when I do it that fast, the you know, the guy just rips me. But anyways, hey, you drop. You know, we're gonna get a pretty standard uh, isolation from Ducker. So I've modified it to include the uh, snail, which makes it a tad bit more clean. So yeah, there we go. We just instantly got the. Yuki kill Although do you need a dragger? I'm pretty sure you need a dragger body before opening that Door unless you're gonna do a distraction shot like that Really he does the distraction shot just to save some time. Oh Oh, no, he's good. I Was worried for a second and because he has bodyguard. He's able to go to most of the areas Meanwhile, Nezuko does have the Morgue Doctor disguised as about to get electrocution. Huh. Right? Yep. And then... He has to get the timing right. I definitely need to practice that. Oh yeah, you can't get past a hospital without distraction. No All right, Ducker with the uh, disguise and Nezuko with the kill. This is a close one, everybody. Soda's down. To be honest, I'm not sure what. Although Nez or uh, Ducker is well, on his way. Meanwhile, I I'm not too sure of uh, how Nezuko is gonna get the sniper kill. I am curious of what the next closest isolation would be. So, ooh, that was close. Yeah, so does that smoothly gets around the cameras, Ducker does. All right. Charging defibrillator. No. Ready. All right, there we go. Gets the electrocution. And Eric Soder's down. Yep. And right, look at him. He's right near an exit, in a good disguise for it as well. Uh, not the best disguise because there's one enforcer, but. Hey man, he gets it. So that's gonna be a GG Ducker with a very clean Hokkaido. Each player taking each other's maps, which is the most exciting uh, part. Let's see, choose prediction. That's those targets down. Choose outcome. Ducker. Yo, both. Both of the uh, lowest ones are, you know, chosen. So, you know, if you've gotten any of these predictions correct, you got a big payday of, I don't know what the what to call my coins. Surely we get a full match because the other one finished round first round. Are they still on? Uh, I, I don't know what's up with uh, Moo, but is Moo still... Is his match still going on the first game? I don't even know what map that would like be possible on. Maybe like Santa Fortuna or Mumbai? With like a very shitty spin. 20 minutes pass on Whittleton? Are you, are you fucking with me? There is no way. It's a hard spin. Okay. I'll, I'll take your word for it. 
So next is going to be Santa Fortuna. Fan favorite map. Setting up predictions right now. I like to wait until I see how much time exactly I have. Okay, two minutes. That's good. I guess it's just always going to be the uh, two minutes. Confirm prediction. There we go. So, yeah. Get your predictions on. Fire Axe as barbecue owner for Janus. And Loud Shotgun as pol politician assistant. No KO. Col Nolan Cassidy. Yeah, that is one doozy of a spin. <laughs> Ugh, that's that that's a, that's a spin. Which honestly, it's like, even though hard spins suck ass, if it's a map like Wilton Creek, New York, fucking, you know, Dartmoor, you just want to see hard spins. So that way, it's you know, not like just five seconds of gameplay. And then another two minutes of loading time. I mean, yeah, you can do garage for Nolan. But, like, you know. It's like barbecue owner is a pain in the ass to get. Politician's assistant is a pain in the ass to get. Loud shotgun. Loud weapons are always bad. Even if basement is a pretty good strategy for it. I don't know what Ducker did over there, but you know, he, uh, he did it. That was one of the things he did of all time. Anyways, the uh, map record is going to be a 791 for Ducker and a 301 for Nezuko chan. We have a 5 minute 53 for Danny Buddha for the map time world record. So this is going to be hype 2-2 on a uh, fairly big map. Whoever wins gets a huge advantage of being either 4-2 or 2-4. So there we go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. We got Folding Knife Drug Lab Worker and SMG Hippo with... Or... Bleh. Forty Knob drug, drug Lab Worker for Rico, SMG Hippo Whisperer for Jorge, and Kitchen Knife Cocoa Field Worker for Andrea Martinez. What a spin. This seems like a, uh, oh, Ducker going ma mansion basement. Interesting. And I don't think uh, Nezuko fully picked their starting location yet, but... I would normally uh, see, what is it? Oh no, I, I was about to say uh, submarine start, but then I realized drug, drug lab worker is more in Jorge's field than out. Although I could see a uh, Coco lab worker being pretty good for this one, maybe. Yeah. But, you know, I'm not, you know, even in the tournament because it got knocked out. So, what do I know, right? Anyways. Looks like a great start for Ducker. He probably went with this start because he's going to get a very early uh, isolation on Rico Delgado. It looks like he's just going to leave him out there. Just knock out those guards. Those other two guards might be the ones who find him. No, he's going to drag his body in there, probably. 
Yeah. There we go. Just drag his body in there. And then now he just needs to get the correct weapons. I, I've seen Battle Axe as Fortune Telling be done. It's it's definitely not like a impossible. The, the thing about Razor Eye is very, very easy to isolate. So that one you might want to isolate before killing him, but you might even, you might not even uh, have to. Anyways, looks like Nezuko Chan is in the field, probably getting drug lab worker and cocoa field worker out the way. Ooh, those whooshes. Those are some motherfucking whooshes. Goddamn. Ducker uh, done with his Jorge isolation. Is on his way to Hippo Whisper. It should be. Well, they need to watch out to not get spotted there. Gonna do a pit distraction shot. Hey. All right, he gets a drug lab worker. And that's gonna be a reset for Ducker, sadly. And Zuko opens the door with the SMG. That's the best part about Having SMG in the spin is that, you know, you get the pluses of having an SMG instead of a silenced pistol. Now, silenced pistol is dope, but SMG is also dope, so. There, there's pros and cons of both. Alright. He's gonna get uh, Rico Delgado sick. Probably because he missed the isolation. So, he's just gonna have him... Um, he should be going towards Ne. Yep, he does go towards Nezuko. Ooh, and red guns again for Ducker. Although, those might not be, uh, you know. Looks like he's going to roll with it. Probably a guard didn't see him, but uh, Rico himself saw him. All right. Rico Delgado has been a. Nezuko with the kill over there, the folding lab or folding knife drug lab worker. Sneaks past that maid and is on his way to someone else. Meanwhile, Ducker finally got the isolation down. He's going towards this area, probably to go to the. Uh... Oh, goes there to grab the silenced pistol. That's great map knowledge. I didn't even know the silenced pistol was there. All right, shoots out that camera, and it's. If he does the same strat as last time, he should be going towards Hippo Whisperer. Meanwhile, Nezuko also going towards Hippo Whisperer. Gets better luck with the timing and. Also panic shot at those guards earlier to Gonna get a uh, hippo whisper upstairs Which is slightly better than downstairs because you know a little bit less time if you need to go back for it But it does look like he's gonna go for a Jorge SMG All right, and Ducker does. Yeah, he gets that uh, isolation. Good shit on his end. All right, now the question, is he gonna, is he gonna successfully get this, uh, you know, seeker dart? Unless he didn't bring a seeker, in which he's gonna have to go to the uh, helicopter 
pilot area. Which would be risky, but definitely, definitely viable. All right. Jorge does, uh, or he gets the seeker on Jorge. Now, Mr. Franco will have to deal with, you know, being dead in a few seconds, which isn't fun. Oh, no, you didn't get it? That is Jorge Franco. The Delgado Cartel's chief. But he is going to do a peekaboo there. Oh, that was a close peekaboo. Oh, he does a uh, gun flash. Oh, he gets compromised, though. D a bit risky. So that's going to give Ducker a slight lead. Oh, I like that from Ducker. Does a distraction shot to uh, make Jorge stand still so he's able to get a smoother seeker shot. Now he knows which porta potty he's going to go into. He's just going to wait. All right. Yeah, Nezuko grabs the folding knife. So I remember when I uh, when I need a folding knife for my match, I did crowbar over there and got spotted. So thankfully he did the. Ooh! Oh my God! Oh, Ducker! Oh, Ducker! Oh, thank you. Wait. Make sure. Okay, I was about to say, don't do that before you kill him. Well, he's probably just going to grab the Coco Field Guard for a easier exit. Unless he hasn't grabbing a Coco Field Worker and Drug Lab Worker yet. In which case, he's just going to use it to grab those two. Thankfully, the uh, Coco Field Worker is fairly easy over here. This is definitely the cocoa field worker to get. Meanwhile, Nezuko is in the cocoa fields now. So he's just like last time. He's going to get those two disguises, get the Rico kill, and then come back, get the Jorge kill. All right. So Ducker has two options. Either get the drug lab worker now and then go for Rico and come back for the worker or the, the uh, field instead of the lab or go for lab worker or, or just go straight for Andrea. Look at he's going straight for Andrea, not uh, taking any chances with a rip or something. Probably grabbed the kitchen knife earlier because he did start waiter. So he had easy access to that smart play. By Ducker. All right, Ducker on his way to Andrea. This should be an easy kill for him as Andre is just easy in general. There isn't really a tricky kill on her. Right, right. You know, Nezuko does get the peekaboo on time. Yeah, hey. Which is always good to see. Nezuko gets the Rico kill down. Let's go. All right, it looks like he is at good timing for Andrea to be downstairs, which in my opinion is the better isolation of the two. I've definitely ripped a few times upstairs, but I've never ripped downstairs. Downstairs is just too easy. 
And of course, Andrea has that like, hey, no guards coming here, AI, which is always a very good, which practically means it's always going to be a good isolation. All right. He gets that. And he chooses to knock her out from there. Which he could have just thrown the kitchen knife, but he doesn't have it. Oh no, Ducker. So he's just going to isolate both targets. Definitely going to save some time. Meanwhile, Nezuko Chan is grabbing that hippo whisper. Yeah, waiting for the guard to investigate that distraction. Grabs his SMG. Oh, shit. And dumps the body. Always good to do. Even though nobody's really gonna go over here, I'm pretty sure. So Ducker just needs to find that kitchen knife. Which I think he oh he has it. He has it. Never mind. He got it. So there we go. Yep. I was worried for a second, I did see the target spot, so I thought he was going to uh like just throw it. It wouldn't have mattered, but All right, now all Ducker has left is Rico Del Gato, which, yeah, he brought the breaching charge. Yeah, drop that assault Hello? rifle. You don't need that. So yeah, folding knife, and he just has to go back and grab the hippo whisper, which I'm pretty sure he isolated already, so that's good. Meanwhile, Nezuko Chan is getting that Rico kill now. Which, this looks very, very, very good for Ducker. Oh. Whoa. Gonna knock him out first, then get a small headshot. And he's gonna leave uh, Rico's body there. Which I don't believe anybody's gonna find that, but I always like to drag it in the bushes just in case. To make it like a guaranteed instead of most likely. Alright. Not sure. Oh, Ducker hasn't gone drug drug lab. Oh yeah, he didn't get the drug lab worker yet, so he's doing that right now. Meanwhile, Nezuko Chan is getting that cocoa field worker. So he is going to uh, either get drug lab worker, unless I missed that and he already got it, or he's just going to skip that. All right, drug lab worker out the way. Just needs to be able to sneak by this area. Oh wait, he already did kill Rico. Yeah, I. My bad on that one. I'm. I'm brain farting right there. So yeah, he has that. Uh, Rico going or Ducker going towards that Rico isolation. 
going through the mansion. We just need to distract those two. Okay. Now he is on his way. There we go. Does he have the keys towards the car? That would be great. He does. That's a GG for Ducker. What an excellent match. Choose prediction, outcome, Ducker. Yep. All right. Uh, what's the next match? Berlin. Get the party started. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to uh, Ducker. Nezuko. There we go. Who is going to win? Predict, predict, predict. Now I do want to mention Ducker has a 16-2 record. Nezuko-chan has a 6-3-1 record. They have played before and Ducker has won. So either Ducker is going to get the uh, 2-0 or Nezuko-chan is going to run it back. The record being held by Mika, 6 minutes 43. But I do want to mention... This is a Nezuko-chan map. <laughs> and what I mean by that is that uh, Nezuko-chan definitely, you know, is known for this map, kind of, being very good at it. Ducker is also pretty good at it fr from what you can see from the stats. So we should just be seeing a very good map in general, or match in general. So yeah, a draw. Oh, I oh that's why I forgot to do. I forgot to add draws to the predictions. I mean, draw is possible. We could see a photo finish. Like from two players this good, photo finishes are definitely, you know, in the air tonight. By Phil Collins. All right, we got the last 20 seconds. I believe uh, predictions are done. And I think people edge towards Ducker, right? Oh, I can't check for whatever reason. Wait, I can. Yeah, people edge towards Ducker 62%. Anyways, 1-0. All right. So the first target is going to be a Scrap Sword Bartender. Second, Consume Poison Club Crew. Third is a No Target KO Silence Assault Rifle Technician. Fourth is going to be a Screwdriver Delivery Guy. No Target KO. And fifth is an Explosive Weapon Biker. This is hype! Yo, two no target KOs. I love to see it. And the silence assault rifle technician no target KO is actually fairly interesting because most people get the technician KO from the technician that they triple shot. But, you know, to get his disguise, you gotta knock him out. So, 
you're gonna have to pick somebody else. Essentially, for the silence assault rifle, you can't pick an easy target. So here we go. Nezuko Chan choosing to pick a uh, club crew. He's just gonna wait until he's able to poison that drink. Pretty sure uh, Mr. Swan Song is gonna be, you know, poisoning or drinking. All right, there we go. Uh, Ducker starting club. We don't know what he got up his sleeve. Chooses to stash the poison. I see, I see, I see. Oh, Davenport drinks that. My bad. Man, the, these, uh, yeah, the, uh, Berlin targets always be fucking me up. Meanwhile, uh, Ducker gets a knockout right there. Agent Davenport, are you there? And he gets the assault rifle. Distracts that guy, knocks him out. Stay focused, he's not playing. Breaching charge, sets up the explosive. Nice. Meanwhile, uh, Nezuko Chan knocks out Swan, changes the bartender, and gets the scrap sword. There we go. That is going to be. And he also got consumed poison earlier, too, yeah. All right. So that's going to be two kills for Nezuko down already. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Meanwhile, Ducker got the two standard ISOs. Uh, buffering from uh, Ducker's end, although we'll just we'll just wait a second. If not, I'll refresh. Nizuko getting the two easy targets. Got him. Showtime. Good work. Now press the advantage while you still can. Oh, he left the other guy alive, so he's gonna triple shot and then just knock out the technician. Oh, but ooh, he's in a tight spot right now. He has combat. Oh, network here. Uh, hold up. Let me let me get Ducker's stream. I interact. Oh, Ducker's offline. How unfortunate. Green. Agent Green. Oh, has somebody messaged him about that? And that makes three. The map was on our side. This shouldn't be happening. Is it call again? Uh, I'm like that. Just wait and see my little perfection of my own. I think, uh, All right, meanwhile, I think what I missed was the uh, assault rifle technician, I'm pretty sure. That would make the most sense. Wave coin. He gets Easy. out of the situation. Does have a pizza right. guy now. You're just going to get no KO screw driver. All right, he grabs the uh, biker, gets the explosion. So I'm pretty sure that's four out of five, or is it five out of five? It's four out of five. He didn't get a uh, pizza yet. What the fuck was that? Oh, he accidentally 
Try to grab the screwdriver, but he sat down instead. Yeah. Uh. Damn. So there is a crash. I'm. I, I haven't refreshed. Uh. Hey, thank you for the. Uh. You know, raid hash. But yeah, very unfortunate and. It will be treated like a crash. His uh, stream just won't. His Xbox won't let him stream. Which is complete ass. Alright. So technically a GG's for Mizuko-chan. I think that was a record too. Which. Oh man. That would have been hyped to have a record but i don't know if it counts or not yeah that is a record five minute 43 oh wait does uh the record include a? Uh, does it include like in-game time so like there's like load and stuff too 634 either way unfortunate gg it is 4-4 next is wilton creek but We'll have to wait at least until Ducker is back online. The record is in real time, not in game time. Okay. Okay, that. Yeah. Interact. Yeah, no option there. Still offline. Although, uh, you know, that's still a prediction payout. Start prediction. Oh, did I hear his stream back on? Hey, Ducker stream is back on. Let's go. So I'm pretty sure the countdown timer is going to start fairly soon. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I'll start it. You guys, two minutes to predict is enough. Even if it's even before the uh, countdown timer. But hey, it worked out. So anyways, this is going to be a 7 4 for Ducker and a 1 2 for Nezuko-chan. Lifetime performance. 4 minutes 05 world record by Joker Day. So yeah. This looks like it's going to be fairly close. Uh, Ducker does have a better lifetime history, but Nezuko-chan is just a good player in general. Sick record. Yeah, pretty sick. I wish it was 15 seconds slower, though, so it'd be funny. It would be 420. Hee <laughs> hee. That, that, that's hilarious. So, yeah. Wilton Creek is a fairly simplistic map, so we shouldn't be seeing a, uh, you know, tie unless both players get a photo finish. All right. 
Nay, Zuko Chan is uh, shooting and scooting. Gain some practice down before the match. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information you need. Practicing. Oh! Politicians, this is really just a couple of uh, distraction shots away. I need to practice that, uh, politician's assistant. So yeah, there we go. We get a... That's an easy silence pistol. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be a rip. Thankfully, it's not in game, and he had to uh, leave that anyways. The graffiti hoodie suit. I'll be honest, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy every DLC for Hitman, and then that came out, and I was like, I'm not gonna buy every DLC for Hitman. Anyways, we have Janus letter opener, Janus bodyguard. That should be a super quick spin and a no target KO scissors real estate broker, which that's also a very uh, simplistic spin. So yeah, should, should be no trouble. Just start gardener, get Janus out the way immediately. Grab the scissors and the letter opener, of course. And then seek a real estate broker or knock him out another way. And then you can either you should have time to do garage, but if you're that impatient, you could also do the empty, you know, house lore. So yeah, Nizuko has a huge advantage because he booted in already. <laughs> so that should be fine. He grabs the scissors, so he's able to get Nolan now. Meanwhile, Ducker is starting barbecue, which is fairly interesting. I wonder what his plan with barbecue is. Nezuko does grab letter opener, so that means he is on his way to Yanis. Yanis. Janus. So, yeah. Grabs that guard's uh, disguise. And then just, yeah, goes to the room, knocks out Gunther. And then, oh, no, get him in time. Uh, yeah, he gets him in time. Thank God. Yeah, drag his body out of there. All right. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. So, yeah. Now he just needs to get real estate broker we are close now, and destroy the cameras, which cameras are on his way to the third clue anyway, so it doesn't matter. I really like that. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Going to, you know, delete that camera. Big whoosh by Ducker, but... That seems on purpose as he's Wow, that's a Janus bodyguard. Perhaps he's still attending these gatherings. That that's a uh, interesting ISO. Oh wait, no, that's not ISO. That's just to get him out the fuck get him the fuck out of there. So he could go. Ooh, Ducker uh, having trouble lining up that shot. Or that throw. Excuse me. Meanwhile, Izuku Chan's already getting the real estate broker right now. Just nails everybody there. And it's gonna. Yeah, trank that guy. Fuck that guy. And yeah, just in time. What in the world? Is this yours? Ooh, quick whoosh. Although, sadly, uh, 
The isolation doesn't really work too well because of the bodies. Yeah, make sure his uh, guard is... You knock out his guard. Target lockdown. Is that going to be good or bad for... For Nezuko? Either way, he's going to James Batty. Also, while I was missing, uh, Ducker did get the James skill, and now he's also going for, These are the best you know, I ever had. the real estate broker. And he's going to do the, uh, he's going to trank him. So bad. Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit hey, with another resident an and then tranks him. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus oh, I see. Of a I like that grab. All right, Nezuko getting those uh, clues. The blues clues. So I just needs to go back and actually kill Jane or Nolan this time. This is very interesting. The note indicates that the box was given to Janus by the constant. Seems like Ducker is going for uh, the clues before getting the kill because you know should be fairly easy. Excellent point. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Art Society. Ooh, did uh, Nezuka rip? He ripped last minute. All of a sudden, we got a huge lead for Ducker. Huh? Ducker just needs to knock out James Batty, grab those clues, and get the Nolan. Although he could ISO Nolan over oh, here too, but he, I think he, we missed that. So he's just going to go straight for... Whatever. He just needs to be careful uh, not to kill the guard with the scissors, as I can see that happening. If you forget. All right. Bam. What's this? What cham? And there we go. Now he just has clues left. Meanwhile, Nezuko has a lot of catching up to do. All right. What is Ducker doing? Knocking him out? That's what he's doing. All right. Just needs to grab that shovel. There it is. You took your... Ducker Gaiman, exactly. Ends for James. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. All right, Ducker's gonna grab that clue, enough. that blues clue. The first annual gathering of the Ark Society. And GG Ducker. Gonna reward those points. GG's of both those players. Both uh, played well, played some uh, good maps, good matches. Um, I have to tell you. Hmm. So, now, you know, we asked if this was winner's bracket. That observer did. Well, that observer, you're going to get your wish because we're about to look at what's going on. So, that was losers, I think. George. Yeah, it was losers bracket. So, Nezuko is sadly out. Ducker will be playing against the uh, winner of T Nort versus Hash. Hash Ashen, 47. And. The winner of Ducker and that is going to play loser of 43, which is going to be Reaper versus Yanini. So, yeah, we got a lot of uh, hype-ass sets going on.
in the future. And talking about hype assets, we have Channel Reindeer versus the greatest newcomer, Dean Nomos, Bangkok Haven. That's going to be uh, Saturday. T Nort Hashin, or Hash, I'm just going to call him Hash. Miami Ambrose for Sunday. And on that same Sunday, we're going to get Reaper 47 and Yanini. Also, we are going to get the Time Cube and I Like Him and on Monday, which means I'll most likely be casting that one. And I probably won't cast the other three because those are definitely out of my time. So, yeah, that's it. Peace out, everybody.